You've done all the homework. You went to libraries, electronic stores, consulted your geeky cousin Roscoe who smells weird, even looked it up on the interweb. You compared aspect ratios, pixel variance, resolutions, contrast, optical audio interface with 5.1 surround sound, CRT, LCD, OCD, OMG. <laughs> With a toothpick and a handful of earth, you could construct this TV yourself. What you did not do, what no one does, is figure out how to turn the damn thing on. Today, we remedy that problem in the latest installment of One Step Direction. Hi, I'm Reggie. Welcome to episode one of One Step Directions. Today we tackle that big, 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 big TV in the corner. We're going to show you how to turn it on, make all those pixels work for you all at the same time. Show you nice stuff on the screen. Let's make this happen. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, iPod. Very trendy item. Uh, not much help to us here. Red stapler's good, you know, for paper and stapling and that sort of thing. You know, A for record though, definitely. Yeah, that's a fork. Uh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's the one. That'll do it. We have happened upon at long last the television remote. In most cases, entire civilizations live and die via the trigger finger. Not us. You want to talk about keeping it real? Here, we're all about the thumb. Alright, what you want to do is position the thumb directly over the all-on button. The all-on button is your best friend. Removes all confusion. We turn it on. Everything. All of it. Now, we've got our thumb positioned right over the all on button. You want to take a step back. Take a deep cleansing breath. Point the remote at the TV. Not too much to the right or left. You don't want to stray with your laser shot. Kill a cat or something. Focus. Centered. Visualize. All on. Press the button. Now. Join us next month when we show you how to turn it off. See you then.